right, you guys, we are part three, four, five, six. Is this part six? Part six, y'all, uh, gray skies, and it is getting juicy. Y'all have excuse it back here. My baby has been sleeping in, girl, been sleeping in my room at night because he's so big, you guys. We got to get him either a full bed or a queen size bed. My baby is big. JB sits at like four, six, four, seven. And baby boy weighs like 85, 86 pounds. And he's a little chubby, but he's a big kid. He's tall, but he's still my baby. He just turned eight. He just turned eight. He almost 90 pounds. <laughs> but he's tall, y'all. I'll have to stand up in one of my vlogs again. You'll see how tall my child is to me. So anyway, girl, let's get into this story time. Let me kind of turn this light down some. But I just wanted to explain if you see things a little bit of a disarray in the back. Okay, you guys. So we ended off the last story time with Kendra and Lamar arguing. Lamont. Could be Lamar too. Kendra and Lamont arguing heading into the surprise baby shower that she has no idea about. She, you know, she's arguing like, I need to know what's going on. I feel like you're withholding something from me. You know, what's going on, Lamont? You know, turns the corner and she sees there literally her best friend tiffany her parents aunt nora aunt ella petty ass even byron is there a couple of their close basically their close friends and families have gathered together flew out from chicago for this surprise um party you know the surprise party kendra starts bawling and that's when T like i said tiffany runs to her and she escorts her to one of the bathrooms and you know, Ken, uh, Tiffany's trying to calm her down. She's like, Kendra, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I just, I just made a fool of myself. I can't believe that just happened. And so Tiffany's like, what's going on? Why were you guys arguing like that? And so Kendra's like, Tiff, I don't know. Just lately, I just felt like we haven't been communicating. And you know, when he came back from, you know, his trip, he was secretive and he basically lied about being on the phone. And Tiffany was like, he was on the phone with me. We were planning this, you know, we were busy planning this baby shower. And she looks at her, she's like, are you serious? She's like, yes, Kendra. And so that's when Tiffany hugs her. And she's like, it's okay, it's okay. And so Kendra kind of calms down. When she goes back into the restaurant, she can hear people whispering, right? And she passed by one of her friends and child one of her friends and aunt ella whispered she's like yeah that's byron right there and byron is sitting at a table with his aunt aunt nora that's n-o-r-a y'all my accent byron is sitting at a table with aunt nora and he just smiles at her you know i'm pretty sure he hears some of that too so anyway um kendra says hi to everyone and she embraces her parents and her mom was like Kendra are you okay she's like yeah mama I'm, I'm fine she's like you know I didn't know things were bad with you guys she said it's we're, it's not bad it was just a big misunderstanding and I'm okay I'm fine her parents end up deciding to stay with them um for the weekend and so um the party goes well you guys Kendra gets a lot of presents and she's so happy to see some of her family there they played a couple of games they ate and then they ended up leaving. Again, her parents um, do decide to stay with them for the weekend, okay? So this is on a Friday night. And so that night they go upstairs and Kendra, again, she's tired, she sits down and she looks at Lamont and she could tell Lamont is upset, he's embarrassed and he's quiet again. She's like, Lamont, I am so sorry. I just thought that, you know, he's like, Kendra, look, if I'm trying to explain to you, well, I just need for you to hear me out. You know, I've been telling you all this time that nothing was going on. And I feel like you don't believe, you, you weren't believing me. So, if anything, I should be questioning you now that I know that you had Byron to go with you on that doctor's appointment. She, look, I shouldn't have said that. I didn't mean anything by, he said, so basically you said that to hurt me or why, why would you was it not true she said no it, it was true he did come to the doctor's appointment but it's not what you think and so he's like look i'm tired let's just go to bed your parents are downstairs i'm just gonna go downstairs to get some work done and I'll, I'll just come back up and she looks at him feeling guilty and she's like okay man so she gets into bed lamont go downstairs he goes he gets to his office y'all he pulls up 
his desktop and he had the hours before he had went ahead online and submitted a thousand dollars for a bid online and he saw he had doubled his money he had won two thousand dollars and he's feeling excited and I look, I don't know anything about gambling. So we just gonna say it's fake slots or something. So he figured, God, $2,000, let me try it again. So he goes ahead and bids. He's like, should I do all of it or half? He's like, screw it, all of it. He goes ahead and bid all his money again, closes his laptop and goes upstairs. So y'all, he's back to gambling, you know, so. The weekend goes off without a hit, you know, Kendra's mom and dad are happy to be there and Kendra is, you know, she's reassures her parents again that it was a big, big misunderstanding and that, you know, things are well with her and Lamont. Now we're gonna kick over to Aunt Ella. Child, do I have a phone? Actually, hold on y'all, let me go get Jamie's Christmas present. Here's Aunt Ella, child, here's Aunt Ella. Y'all, excuse me, I got this old school phone. <laughs> my, my baby's phone don't ask girl here's Aunt Ella on the phone gossiping mind you while she's on the phone um this is the next day okay she's on the phone and mind you uh what's name's gonna come in on her Lamont's gonna walk in on her mm-hmm yeah yes child well apparently she had that young boy to go to that ap appointment with her knowing that my baby was on a, on a business trip can you believe that yeah Mm-hmm. Hold on. Oh, honey, my uh, Lamont's got hold on, Lamont. Lamont is out here at the front door. So, child, Lamont I walked in. He's like, Aunt Ella, who are you talking to? She said, Nobody, baby. He's like, Aunt Ella. Who she said, Oh, yeah, just one of the church members. That's all. So, are you and Kendra okay? He's like, Aunt Ella, yeah, we okay. She said, What were y'all arguing about? He was like, Aunt Ella, it was a huge misunderstanding between Kendra and I. So Lamont had came over because Aunt Ella was having problems with her car and Lamont was gonna look at her car. Okay, look at the transmission or something. Girl. He goes out to look at her uh, her car. This is Aunt Ella. Hello? Child, he done went outside to work on my car. Yeah, girl, I think it's my carburetor or something. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I don't know if that young boy is going to cause some problems, but I know Lamont better get his wife together. Mm-hmm. Child, old people just as petty. <laughs> old people just as petty as hell. So Aunt Ella is gossiping with other church members about what happened at the party. And y'all, this is a small town, so it gets around. So it's a couple of days go by, y'all, and this is Lamont talking to Kendra. He's like, you know what? Um... I don't think we need Byron to be around as much anymore. And Kendra's like, what do you mean? You know, I'm not even, I'm just halfway through my pregnancy and we have so much more to do. I gotta get the nursery ready together. And he's like, well, I can help you with that. And she's like, Lamont, but you're always in your office busy. And so are you gonna help me to put up the drapes? Are you gonna help me to unpack? We got to, you know, get the basement together. He's like, well, how about this? How about, you know, I go ahead and help you out a little bit more. And that way he only needs to come by one to two days out of the week instead of three to four. And she's like, okay, well, but since this is your idea, you need to let him know. And so Kendra continues to eat and she's like, hmm. He's like, yeah, I could do that. He said, yeah, no problem, I can do that. So the next day, Lamont goes up to Byron. He's like, hey, Byron, man, you got a second? I want to talk to you about something. And Byron turns around looking all fine. He's like, yeah, man, what's up? What's up? He's like, well, look, you know, um, I scored this um, business deal a couple of months ago that will allow me to be home a little bit more with Kendra. So we really only need you to come by now only, you know, one or two days out of the week instead of three or four days. And Byron kind of looks at him. He's like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, I'm sure. And so Byron is like, okay then. So Lamont turns to leave, leave but then Byron was like, hey, hold up. His, and Lamont turns around like, oh, shit. And so he said, like, look, man to man, I just wanna ask you something. You know, you cutting back my hours, that doesn't have anything to do with that fight that I heard you and Kendra arguing about, right? Lamont looks at him like this mother... <laughs> And he lies because that's what Lamont does he's like no man it has nothing to do about that you know we have both agreed once she was halfway through the pregnancy he's like, and again if I got this you know business deal that I would be able to help her out a lot more and so Byron looks at him and Byron knows he's lying he knows that that's only half truth and so he's like all right then man no problem so he continues to work 
Lamont goes in feeling feeling like Lamont, like he's achieved some stuff. He goes into his office. He sees that he has now won the next gambling thing. And y'all, this is how it works. You figure that you can win everything, everything, and you gamble more and more and more. And so he's back into it. He's been sucked into that habit again. All right, you guys. So Kendra comes in to the office, knocks on the door, goes in. She's like, so did you speak to him? He's like, yeah, and he was fine with it. And Kendra kind of looks at him. She's like, okay, then, fine. So Kendra walks out and she goes downstairs. She goes out into the back to, <laughs> to see about him. She's like, hey, fine. And so... Kendra was like, it seems like your aunt is doing well. You know, is everything okay with her? He's like, yeah, I mean, sometimes I think she's okay, but I know that, you know, I know that deep down she's not. And so I still am going to have to look into um, finding somewhere for her to be at. He said, actually, I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor and it actually has to do with my aunt Nora. And Kendra's like, yeah, sure, what is it? And he's like, yeah, my aunt kind of took a liking to you. So I was wondering if you would mind coming with me to look at some of these nursing homes that I'm thinking about putting her in. And Kendra kind of smiles. She's like, absolutely. Whatever we can do to help. You just let me know when you want to go, you know, and I'll be more than happy to, you know, visit these places. And he's like, thank you. I really appreciate that. So, uh, all right, you guys. So Kendra agrees. So now let's cut over to Aunt Nora. And she's climbing up to bed next to her husband. What could his hus her husband be? What's a good old, old Southern black man name? Um, Glenn, Uncle Glenn. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. So this is Aunt Ella. Aunt Ella would not let go of this argument that, she, that they heard between Kendra and Lamont. And so here he go, here she go. You know, I kind of would warn Lamont about these city girls, you know, they fast and uh, I understand Kendra, is a, you know, is, is a God-fearing woman, but you gotta have open communication. And that's when, <laughs> Uncle Glenn put down his newspaper, whatever the hell he was reading it in bed, child. He said, yeah, communication like us. And so she looked at him. She's like, now look here, Glenn. Now I'm not in the mood to be going back and forth with you, but you know what I mean. These young couples, they get in the marriage. You know, marriage is hard work. You got to work at it. She slips into bed. And so that's when Uncle Glenn said, are you ever going to tell Lamont the truth then? Uh, since we're talking about communication. And she looked over at Glenn, Uncle Glenn, and she said, I'll tell him in due time, honey. I'll tell him. All right, you guys, we've got to figure out what secret is Aunt Ella.